It's a symbol of the United States and that country's leadership. It's always in view when the president greets world leaders after landing, and many press briefings actually take place inside of it while it's flying. By now, you know we're talking about Air Force One, the plane that carries President Trump all over the country and the world. It may look like a regular Boeing 747, but Air Force One is actually a very special and highly capable plane that we want to show you a little more of. From missile defense to the operating room, this plane can do it all. Before we lift off, be sure to buckle up and subscribe to The Richest. Give us a thumbs up and leave a comment because we love hearing back from you, and we may just feature your comment in a future video. Military Operation while we picture the distinctive blue and white 747 as being Air Force One, technically any plane the president gets on becomes Air Force One. That said, any time President Trump flies aboard this plane, it becomes a military operation. To get from the White House to Andrews Air Force Base, the president takes the Marine One helicopter. Then, while Air Force One is being operated by a military crew, the Air Force ships the presidential convoy ahead to whatever the destination is. It requires a lot of teamwork and coordination. Coordination. Flight Specs Currently, there are two 747s which can play the role of Air Force One and both were introduced in 1990. These planes can reach a maximum speed of 630 miles per hour, which is Mach 0.92. Its maximum flying altitude is 45,000 feet and when fully loaded, it can get one-third of the way around the planet. However, don't expect the president to land and refuel in an emergency. Air Force One is capable of in-flight refueling, which means it can stay in the air almost in Definitely. Missile Defense 1 Obviously, when you're the most powerful person in the world, you're going to have a lot of enemies. While the president's security on the ground is one thing, protecting American leadership while it's up in the air is another. For this reason, Air Force One reportedly comes equipped with flares and chaff. Normally only found in military aircraft, should a missile ever be fired, Air Force One can deploy these decoys to try and avoid the threat. Onboard Communications when you're the president, you always have to be in touch with the people and the world around you. And this, the United States of America, is your country. For these purposes, Air Force One reportedly has 85 telephones. Some are open, general use, while others are secured lines for more private matters. If it's CNN the president needs to check in on, this plane has around 20 televisions throughout. No word if any of these are hooked up to a PS4 or Xbox One, however. All right, now that we're at cruise altitude, it's time to give a mention to one of our fantastic viewers. Rosie Ailey says, I've been subscribed for a good few years now, and I've seen most of your videos, and this is the best one yet. Keep up the great vids. Thank you so much, Rosie. We hope to keep entertaining you in the years ahead with even more awesome videos. Now, back to the show. Creature Comforts while it's primarily a flying office and command post in the sky, Air Force One must also be a place where the president can rest and relax between scheduled appointments. For this reason, it's equipped with some pretty cool things. In addition to the private bedroom in the nose, the president can also use his own shower and bathroom and a small gym to stay in shape. When passengers are hungry, Air Force One's two kitchens can serve up to 100 meals, which are all pretty tasty looking. Nuclear Proof while most passenger planes are built strong enough to stand up to storms and heavy turbulence, Air Force One goes well beyond that. The president's plane is actually built to stand up to a nuclear blast. Okay, so it can't take a blast full on and survive. That's impossible. However, Air Force One is heavily shielded against the effects so that its sensitive electronics and communications equipment remain operational. That's vital should the unthinkable happen and the president needs to command operations from the air. Situation Room if need be, the president can use Air Force One as a flying office and strategy center. Basically, he can lead the country and its armed forces from the air if he has to. In this 747, there's a conference room, which is basically a situation room where the president can meet with his top advisors. There's also a large TV screen where people on the ground can video conference with the team in the air. In short, even when the president is somewhere over the Pacific, it's like he never left the office. Missile Defense 2 
We already mentioned flares and chaff as two tools Air Force One uses to protect itself from potential missile threats. However, there are allegedly more advanced defenses built into this plane. For instance, some reports say Air Force One can jam radars. On the exterior, strange pods on the wings and tails suggest some sort of tracking and jamming system which could be used to defend against missiles. Whatever they are, no other 747 we've seen has come equipped with them. Medical Facilities of course, given all you know already about this amazing plane, you just knew it had to have medical facilities. Air Force One is equipped with a medical annex and a personal doctor who can take care of nearly all of the president's medical needs. This whole bed just kind of comes out and sits down like that. The uh, surgical lamp or the OR light comes out over the top. This area can be turned into an operating room very quickly and has all the lighting and equipment a doctor would need should that situation ever arise. It also provides an area for sick staff to get treatment when the travel doesn't agree with them. A lot of times when we go overseas, if somebody gets really ill, we'll make the decision to bring them back on this plane because it may be a long flight and we don't want to put them on a plane where there's no medical providers or, or no access to care. Pricey. Naturally, all of the features found in Air Force One make it an incredibly expensive plane. Estimates say that to operate this plane for just one hour costs the U.S. taxpayers over $206,000. As more features get added, expect that price to go up. In fact, the next generation of Air Force One aircraft will likely be even more expensive, with the project already estimated to be running around $3.7 billion. If you have time, stick around for our next awesome video. We love hearing from you guys, so leave us a comment or two down below and we'll do our best to see if we can get yours featured in our video shoutouts. Thanks for watching.